Hey guys, this is Phil Ebner with VideoSchoolOnline.com back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to export from Final Cut Pro for YouTube and Vimeo, what the best settings you need to have for the best looking video to show up, show your video on the web. So here in Final Cut Pro, I got my nice uh, project open. This is actually from a green screen video editing course that I have on my website if you're interested in taking. So check it out on videoschoolonline.com. So you go up to File, Export. We're not going to use QuickTime Movie because that's going to just create a .mov uh, format that is the same as your sequence. What we want to do is using QuickTime Conversion. So go ahead and select that. You go ahead and name your, your movie, select where you want it to go, um, and then you click Options. So for video settings, we're going to go through all these. For settings, you definitely want it to be H.264. This is what both YouTube and Vimeo would like. There's all these other um, options like Apple ProRes 4444. This is like if you want, to, this is like the highest quality that you can get. Um, if you're gonna, you know, take it to another program to keep editing, you can do that. Um, uncom uncompressed, all these other ones. But we want H.264 for frame rate. Um, YouTube uh, prefers 30 frames per second. Um, Vimeo likes 29.97, but they will upload really anything. Um, but 30, 29.97, 24, 23.98, those are all safe. Um, safe uh, frame rates. Keyframes, you can do automatic and data rate. So this is where you um, will increase or decrease the size of your video file dramatically and it will uh, affect your um, qual the quality of the video um, but not as much as you would imagine. So for for YouTube for a 1920 by 1080 HD video, so that's the aspect ratio, if that's what you shot at, that's what you want to export as, you will want to restrict to 8,000 kilobytes per second. You don't have to do this, and YouTube actually um, says that you can just do automatic, but by limiting it to 8,000 kilobytes per second, um, this really means that you're going to decrease the file size and therefore allow a faster stream of your video because you don't want to have a humongous file that people are going to have to you know um, load while they're playing and it just uh, speeds up the, the loading process so if you have a 1280 by 720 HD video you want to restrict to 5000 both for YouTube and Vimeo and if you're using Vimeo if you're uploading Vimeo as of now Vimeo only allows you to upload uh, or it only plays 1280 by 720 videos. That's the highest quality that it does. You can upload 1920 by 1080, but it still plays it as 1280 by 720. And so restricting that to 5000 is best. Um, and then for this quality, you can't change this because you uh, have kind of set preset your quality up here. If this is that automatic, you can change this to best or high or whatever. You can even do a faster encode if you're in a rush, and this will export it faster. But I like restricting it to, so for this video, since it's 1280 by 720, I'm going to limit it to uh, 5,000 kilobytes per second. Down here in filter, you don't want to do anything with this. this is like if you want to add any last minute effects, I've never used that. For size, I want to change it to 1280 by 720. But of course, if you have a 1920 by 1080 video, you can do that. De interlace, interlace source video, this isn't necessary. If you were shooting on an old camera, you might need to do that. So for sound, for both Vimeo and YouTube, you want to use AAC. It's a, um, it's a smaller format, but still high quality. Let's go ahead and click OK with all of these settings. And then prepare for internet streaming. You don't really need to do that um, for either. Then you just go ahead and click OK, press save, and that will export it perfectly in high quality for YouTube or Vimeo. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is Phil Ebner for videoschoolonline.com. If you want more tips and tricks and tutorials, head over to videoschoolonline.com and subscribe. Check out the latest blog posts, check out my courses, ebooks, and podcasts and more. So anyways, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this class, and I will see you next time. Peace.